Hello and welcome to Let's Play Faster Than Light with me, Scruffy Joe. Uh, this is going to be fairly short and sweet because this is always sweet. Has a slightly bitter ending most of the time. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to take the Kestrel. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to go on easy because I'm not. I'm just not up for hard. Not up for normal. Easy. Play this game on easy. I'm going to press start. Okay. So basically, we are on the run from the enormous rebel fleet which is behind us. We're starting out, our ship is not particularly good. We're going to fly through various sectors, and once we get to the end, our home, we are going to have to fight this enormous pirate thing. Terrifying. Let's just turn on the guns. Jump. Right. This is the first sector. This episode will be me traversing the first sector. So it's going to be fairly short episodes here and then get through the series nice and quickly. It'll be good fun. I don't know if you've played this game before, but I love it. So I'm going to talk about it as we go. Firstly, you hover over your potential destinations. It will show you all of the potential routes from that destination. You want to try and hit as many of these as you can as you go across the board. So I'm going to go for that one first. And I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to fight the ship. Because what? why not? I'm going to shoot him in the guns with my burst laser. Pew pew pew! That was good shooting. I'm going to do that again. I'm not going to worry about anything else. I'm going to pop a cap in his engines. Let's ditch that. Uh, right, so what we got here, we got missiles, we got drone control parts, and we've got cash. Yay! We took some damage. Somebody needs to go and repair that. We desperately need a fourth crewman. So what we do, we're just going to sit here, wait for him to do that. See it bars down here. Do 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 and shields up and then go back to weapon stations. Jump. Okay, I can run down to this distress beacon. That means there'll be a potential fight there or something interesting to do. <coughs> Basically in this game you just want to go and uh, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. No, we didn't save anyone. Uh, okay, um, we got some free money though, so that's good. Now, free money, money is used to buy weapons at uh, shops, but also you can upgrade the Kestrel here. So normally the first thing I'd like to try and do is get to shields four because each blip of shields costs two blips of shields so that's going to cost 20 50 but then we'd also need some extra power that would cost another 40 so we need 90 we had to afford that okay so we'll just carry on Jumping through space. Uh, friend. A pirate. Yeah, it's a pirate. I'm going to blow it up. I'm always going to blow up the pirates. I'm going to do it heavy handedly this way. Okay, so red means he's got no shields, so I can just save my missiles. 
And I will accept that. Thank you very much. 79. So our target is 90. Ooh, asteroid field. Okay, so every now and again in an asteroid field, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to get clonked by a rock. It's going to knock out one bit of shield like that, which means you're then in trouble if you get shot. Oof, that was good timing. Eesh, that was bad timing. There's fire. Uh, shields, thank you. Okay, so I've opened this to space and that's the quickest way to put a fire out. We're waiting for this to charge and hoping we don't get clonked by another rock. And we'll go for that distress call. Right, what we got going on here? Distress beacon. Small asteroid belt. Find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed. I mean, I feel slightly guilty because I did just kill a load of pirates for no real good reason. What would Kirk do? That was very Kirk of me, and it was a good shot as well. That was Sulu. Sulu did the shooting, didn't he? Right, we got cash. Donk, donk, bonk, bonk. Except. Brilliant. Having two layers of shield <coughs> as quickly as you possibly can is the best way of getting through this game. Ah, oh, but there is a shop there. So what I can do, you could basically, you're not going to get caught by this wave. If you get caught by this wave, everything turns horrid. Um, so I've got 39. I'm just thinking, if I hop there, then I can get back there and back there. Will the wave hit me, or should I just go there? I'm going to play it safe. Oh, and that's a fight. I'm going to shoot them in the shields. No, I'm not. I'm going to shoot them. I am going to shoot them in the shield. Um, yes. Yes, we accept your surrender. And let's go shopping. Hopefully, <coughs> we want some sort of additional burst laser type thing. But they don't have anything like that. I uh, don't really want any of these things. Um, well, let's get repairs. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. Don't need any of that stuff. I'm gonna save my cash. I think I'm going to go this way. Goddamn pirates! Okay, so this pirate's got weapons. It's also got these drones. That's why I'm shooting both rooms. And now I'm safe. So I can just shoot him in the shields. And that should do the job. Yeah, and then we'll just wait for that to recharge and shoot them in the shields again. They are fixing this room, that's why it's just gone orange. But they weren't fixing it quick enough. Ah! Well, that's fair enough. I wouldn't stick around while a big warship like me was pummeling a pirate. Right, let's see about some upgrades. We 
we will need more weapons. Why are we not as autists? Get an extra power. Um, doors and cameras are always really cool, but kind of just want to really overpower things as much as possible. I think I'm just going to save up. I'm going to put that extra power point I just bought into the engine slot. This is this works well until about sector three. You don't really need to upgrade the weapons until till then, really. But if you can, you should. But we're going to pootle along as we are. Uh, I think if we go in the nebula, that should slow down the wave. This is just a little drone, so it's got no shields. We just keep shooting it in the weapons. And then uh, that way we won't take too much damage. I can save... <coughs> Excuse me. I, we can save our... Uh, Missiles. Perfect. No damage. Loads of money. Hang on a minute, which one of you is John? Just noticed John's slightly injured. Now, when you get somebody injured, just run in here. Uh, the best place to stand and have a fight with alien invaders is Sick Bay. You'll probably see that tactic before too long. Uh, I think we might have time to go there. Ooh. Okay, don't let the forward scout escape. Shoot it in the engine. Um, at the same time, we'll probably turn off their guns. Oh, didn't quite do enough damage to the engine, so let's put another bullet in there. That's better. Okay, they're now not going to escape. And they are repairing their guns as quickly as they can, so they're not really even worried about the engine. Oh, they have fixed all of their weapon systems, but we're still okay. The great thing about this game is if it gets too harsh and complicated and tricky, you can just pause it and work out what you're doing. I've been playing this fairly quickly to begin with because there's no reason for me to go slowly. Now, let's just think, where are we? Okay, so we go there and then we go there. But before we do that, we've got 100 modification points. And I'm thinking we could get quite a long way towards getting the shields. So we need 150. Well, there's no harm in having two extra power. We'll get half of that. Heart seasoned veterans of this game might be thinking, what an idiot, but you know, most of you watching won't be seasoned veterans, you'll be thinking, what the hell's going on, none of this makes any sense. And I realise that I haven't explained it very well, so I promise I'm going to do that in Sector 2. Uh, yes, we are definitely going to do that. Garum. Once again, I will just shoot it in the weapons because it has no other useful stuff. These, while well, we're just doing this actually. This is a medical room, shields room, camera room, security room, engine, weapons. That's not engine, Joe, come on. Steering. Engine room and O2 producing room. There are other rooms as well. They all have different indicators and some of them are blank. These guys are doors, so you can open the doors, let space in, close the door. 
everything's groovy. Um, and yeah, you, when you're in combat, you just point at these with your different weapon systems, which are down here, which you turn on with power and shields only work in blocks of two. So although I've got that there, I can't use it yet. And we're just about going to make it before they catch us, which is perfect timing. Ooh, what's your speciality? Uh, yeah, because upgrading the doors costs 25. Fantastic. That's really cool. Handy. Right. There we go. So, before I leave it, this is the sector map. You go and you choose your route. Various different colours will mean different things. And the idea is that we've all got to try and get here for the final battle. And by the time we get here, we need to have upgraded our ship so that it is basically super hard and can deliver a lot of damage very quickly. It's, it's a good game. You can only have one save of it. So it's kind of this, this run all the way. Each episode is going to be around about this long. I'm probably going to do more explaining next episode because I didn't do that very well this time. But we'll see where we go. I think... I think we could have a relaxing time in an Uncharted Nebula. But I think we're more likely to pick up good weapon systems in Rebel-controlled lands. Hmm... Okay, well, we'll, we'll think about that and uh, I'll decide at the beginning of the next episode. But thanks for watching and I hope that you're, uh, you're in for this as much as I am. And yeah, see you for episode two, where we will either be uncharted or in rebel-controlled lands. Uh, if you've liked it, press the subscribe button and, uh, and leave a comment, and that would be great. Thanks very much. Cheers, bye-bye.